What's up, everybody? Good morning. It is 10.03 in the morning here in Southern California where we are experiencing the coronavirus. I'm sure everyone else internationally and nationally are experiencing the same thing as we are. Um, oh, boy. My teeth are yellow. I, I guess uh need to brush the teeth there. Anyways, I uh, went to Starbucks. I just had a phone interview for a job and... Um, yeah, so it looks like uh, I got the gold, golden ginger drink. It's one of their new um, drinks out there. Uh, if you looked at my previous um, review of my drinks this week, I did the uh, pineapple matcha. So this should be interesting. Ginger. Hmm. Not a fan of ginger unless it's with sushi. Japanese ginger, of course. And ginger... It was lo mein, Chinese lo mein. Let's try this out. It feels like more of like a, a, a spice, you know? More of like a cinnamon taste. If you look on the lid right there, it looks like it was blended, this, uh, the ginger. They put a piece of ginger and put some water and uh, blended it up pretty nice. It's actually a pretty nice drink. I don't mind drinking ginger, you know. I'm thinking I can make this at home. But it won't turn out like this, a golden ginger drink. Uh, so this was about maybe, maybe three or four ninety five at Starbucks. Uh, it's very, very interesting. The aftertaste, it, it's gingerly, you know, <laughs> um, it's, it's not, not as bad. It's actually worth it. Uh, if I ever get this again, I'll look at the bottom there. That's probably all the ginger, but yeah, man, wow. Not too sweet, not sour at all, not too not bland at all, um, but very. I guess I could say it's it has that spice kind of feel, like if you're um, drinking like horchata uh, or like a cinnamon based drink, like maybe um, apple cider, like apple cider tea, something like that. That's what it tastes like. It's very um, has that spice kind of thing to it. It's not too bad. I think it, I, I've, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's pretty good uh, for the price wise. I guess next time I'll probably get a venti. It's not bad. Yeah, not a horrible aftertaste. It's a very pleasant aftertaste. Uh, it's, it's not even like uh, if you ever had ginger uh, as a Chinese, uh, as an Asian guy here. Uh, we, uh, we love to use ginger in our cooking. So it's not um, sort of like tangy, you know. It's pretty good. Maybe they added a couple, a little bit of sugar here to even the um, the taste. So like it, it's like the ginger is overpowering it, but then they put some sugar to control that um, overpowerment. If you get what I'm saying. So, anyways, uh, this is my review of the Grande Golden Ginger Drink. Hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, hopefully you're staying safe over there, uh, wherever you're at, wash your hands, keep, um, uh, keep clean, uh, that's the best thing, stay at home, don't be like me who went to Starbucks so I can do a video, but I was also doing a phone interview, um, yeah, uh, check out my other videos if you can, subscribe to my channel if you not already have, uh, leave a comment below, put the, give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, definitely, I think, uh, with, you know, with, uh, the, the county that I live in, they want us to stay home, so maybe I'll do, uh, a daily, a vlog, uh, including my reviews, if you enjoy it or not. I have some interesting stuff at home I might want to do a review of, so keep, keep, uh, keep yourself notified, uh, by checking the, 
notification bell down below near the subscribe button and uh, you'll be alerted when there's a new video coming up okay but so far it's monday wednesday and fridays reviews it can be daily because you know we're gonna be stuck at home so you'll be entertained by this round face <laughs> all right this is travel 1991 here signing off you take care peace out